Have you ever been stumped by a lead code challenge that involves arrays? Today we are demystifying static arrays in just a few minutes. We are also going to practice it with a real lead code problem. And don't worry, we'll cover dynamic arrays in an upcoming video. Static arrays are fixed in size. Unlike dynamic arrays, they don't grow or shrink in size. When you declare an array of size n, it remains that size throughout its life. Can you tell what happens if you try to add an element to a static array beyond its size? For example in C, doing this could result in an undefined behavior or even crash your program because you're accessing memory you shouldn't be accessing. Let's see how static arrays are stored in RAM. Think of a RAM as a big shelf, a static array takes up a contiguous block of this shelf. So if you've got an array of 5 integers, it'll take up a chunk of 5 slots back to back on this shelf. But why is it important that it takes 5 slots back to back? Well, because they are stored in a contiguous block, accessing an element is super fast. Do you know what's the big notation for accessing an element in a static array? It's O of 1 complexity. Now let's see the big O complexities of operations on static arrays. As we just mentioned, access time is O of 1. Since we know where our block starts, we can jump straight to any element in no time. Searching for an element, however, is not so great. You might have to look through every element until you find your item. And that's an O of N operation. Inserting and deleting are a bit tricky. If it's at the end, it's still very fast, O of 1. But if it's somewhere in the middle or the start, then it's an O of N operation because you have to shift elements to add or delete one element from the middle. And now let's put this knowledge into practice with a lead code challenge focused on static arrays. Your challenge today is lead code problem 27, remove element. While this problem can be approached in many ways, today we are going to add a small twist to make it a test of your static array skills. Your challenge is to solve the remove element problem, but without changing the size of the array and without adding or removing element. That means we won't be using any high level methods to resize the array. This will challenge you to really think about the array as a contiguous block of memory, just like a static array in RAM. Give it your best shot and if you get stuck, don't worry, I'll be solving and explaining it in the next video. And now let's quickly recap static arrays. Static arrays are fixed in size and super fast for accessing elements. But they can slow you down if you're not careful with searching, insertions and deletions. And if you're interested in how to estimate Bico time and space complexities of arrays and other data structures, I recommend clicking on this video about Bigo notation next. See you in the next video where we'll solve this lead code challenge.